It costs the little convenience fee for the ATM, bro. You're killing all the time. No wonder people look at us crazy here. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I guess not. Man, let's go. Who hit me up? Oh, hell yeah, it's my boy, the VIP was I was telling you about. He said? He said, comp bottles on me all night tonight. Come through. So I don't, I don't know if I'm trying to turn up like that, though. What? What? All right. Nah, yeah. I'm with it. Let's go. My name is Alejandro de la Cruz. People call me Alex or Castro. At just 23 years old, I'm the top master barber in Las Vegas and have the clientele and trophies to prove it. A year ago, I opened up my own barber shop called Fresh Cut, which was a dream of mine ever since my family and I came here from Cuba. Now, Fresh Cut is the hottest shop in the city. Being a barber at Fresh Cut is about more than just cutting hair. It's about a lifestyle that we live to the fullest. From cutting top entertainers and athletes to industry stars, Fresh Cuts Las Vegas will show you how a haircut affects the business of entertainment in Sin City. So it's another one of those days, a busy day here at Fresh Cuts Barbershop. You know, we're usually busy, but today is a lot busier than usual. You know, I got a lot of customers coming in. I got a barbering tutorial to do. We're going to be doing our one year celebration for Fresh Cuts Barbershop being open. We also got the launch, you know, for Fade to Fame, my new clothing brand. And then we got the after party at Vanguard with my boy DJ Sucio spinning. So it doesn't get any better than that. First off, to start this busy day, I got to take care of my boy as a VIP host. My name is Brian Lee. I'm a VIP host at Marquee Las Vegas in the Cosmopolitan. You know, his image is everything, so I gotta make sure that I hook him up with a fresh cut before he goes to do his job. Let's say it was about a $200,000 weekend. Damn. So the detail cut that I'm giving my boy is pretty much just to make sure that the, his hairline is perfectly symmetrical, the fading blend is like really good, and you know, the scissor work is done very well. Just pretty much an overall fresh cut. Um, my haircut makes me feel good. Especially when I'm going up to clients, I want to make sure I look good at all times and sometimes better than the clients. This is so great date night, just the three of us, I'm just saying. And this is such a good movie too. I mean at the end when it's revealed the grandmother did it. Are you kidding? Would you be quiet and move your gigantic head? It's like, hello, I can't see the screen. Wow, hey, was that Jordan? Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> now, all Hanes underwear is tagless. Go tagless. Hey, Mom. Yeah? We've got Allstate, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Well, I found this new thing called... Allstate Quick Photo Claim. It's an app. You understand that? Just take photos of the damage with your phone and upload them to Allstate. Really? So you get a quicker estimate, quicker payment, quicker back to normal. I just did it. But maybe you can find an app that will help you explain this to your father. Introducing Quick Photo Claim. Just another way Allstate is changing car insurance for good. Tide laundry detergent, downy fabric softener, bounce dryer sheets, and a pie pan. 
Looks like someone used my nice clean towels again for a smut pie. Was it me? Who's this? That guy. I've seen that guy in my life. Only Walmart has low prices every day on everything to keep your wash fresh and clean. Backed by our Ad Match guarantee. Save money. Live better. Walmart. When your cable's on the fritz, you get tense. When you get tense, you can't sleep. When you can't sleep, you need to sleep. When you need to sleep, you get stranded. When you get stranded, you have to survive. When you have to survive, you eat wild berries. And when you eat wild berries, you chase imaginary butterflies into something highly illegal. Don't chase imaginary butterflies into something highly illegal. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. The Barber Lifestyle, that shit crazy. I love it. It's, it's what sums up my life. I mean, it's, it's me. It's what I do. I love it. The Fresh Cuts Barbers here, we're the ones that set the pace for everybody in the city. Fresh Cuts Las Vegas, we turn up more than anybody out here. So we got G Money Greg. My name is Greg Fair from Chicago, Illinois. My nickname is Jungo Jed. And my favorite food from Chicago is the Vienna Polo Sausage. Can't wait. We got Makuta the Rockstar. I'm Makuta the Rockstar. I'm about to shoot my new video called Boot Thing. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I wrote the song in like three weeks. Went to Miami, recorded. I'm ready to do it. It's a hot song. We got Caleb. My name is Caleb DeWitt. I'm from Orland, Wyoming. I've been a barber for nine and a half years now. We got Hector Max. We got Santoyo. We got Jesus. We got Louis. Yo, my name is Louis, but here in Vegas, I'm also known as King Louis. We got Luis. My name is Luis Escoledo. I'm from Modesto, California. I've been cutting here about 10 years professionally. My name is CJ. I'm the uh, shop's helper, basically like an apprentice. I was also um, learning, helping around the shop. And we got Barbara Alex right here, baby. Mm -hmm. A lifestyle of a barber is a hell of a lifestyle. As far as money, girls, you know, we, we, we have it all. But, you know, at the same time, if you're not careful, it can really break you down. Man, we have so much fun at the shop all the time. We always joking around with the clients. Barbers always messing around with the barbers, you know, talking about girls, talking about money, talking about going out. This barber lifestyle, it ain't for everybody. Fast money, fast girls. It's kind of like a, a multiple car accident. We're getting hit from all directions. Uh, the barber lifestyle, you know, it, it's pretty fun, you know. Uh, the money's good. You're pretty much your own boss. What I like about the barber lifestyle is uh, that you're just your own boss, that you uh, you known if you're a good barber you known out here in Las Vegas. Um, you get to cut a lot of great people, a lot of connections. And yeah, we like bartenders, you know. <laughs> like, but. Every year we pick a new city to explore. But thanks to Hotwire, this year we got to take an extra trip because they get us ridiculously low prices on really nice hotels and car rentals. So we hit Boston in the spring even caught a game. And with the money we saved, we took a trip to San Francisco. You see, Hotwire checks the competition's rates every day, so they can guarantee their low prices. So where to next? How about there? H-O-T-W-I-R-E, hotwire.com.
so great date night. Just the three of us. I'm just saying. And this is such a good movie, too. I mean, at the end, when it's revealed the grandmother did it. Are you kidding? Would you be quiet and move your gigantic head? It's like, hello, I can't see the screen. Ah, oh, hey, was that Jordan? Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Now, all Hanes underwear is tagless. Go tagless. What? Oh, oh I believe that just happened. I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> this was going to be our thing. What are you we doing? Made a pact. You watched ahead. No. <sighs> okay, I watched it on my way to work, caught some episodes at my desk, and I started season two while you were sleeping. Season two? Netflix, TV shows and movies at your command for eight bucks a month, but please, watch responsibly. Are you crying? <laughs> That's what makes the combo. Bite, bite, sip, sip. Do the deep, deep dish combo, mambo. For lunch. Pizza, pizza. When your cable's on the fritz, you get tense. When you get tense, you can't sleep. When you can't sleep, you need to sleep. When you need to sleep, you get stranded. When you get stranded, you have to survive. When you have to survive, you eat wild berries. And when you eat wild berries, <laughs> you chase imaginary butterflies into something highly illegal. Don't chase imaginary butterflies into something highly illegal. Get rid of cable and upgrade to Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Mm. This is Kevin. Hello. Hello. Pete. Is this you? For that one-of-a-kind, crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery taste, get your hands on a Butterfinger. Nobody's gonna lay a finger on my Butterfinger. You guys are idiots. Man, we always have fun and games at the shop. We're always playing around, joking around with the clients, all the barbers. Then there's always that one person that always takes it too far. The other day I was cutting up one of my really important clients. This dude flipped the switch out of my power and turned off my clippers. What the f yeah. All my clippers go off, the lights go off. My client's like, what the heck? And then I'm just like. <laughs> Man, I'm messing up my chin. Check the fuse. Check the fuse. Yo, what the f***, yo? Man. <laughs> I mean, I was so pissed off. <laughs> Y'all yeah, messing up my J's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what the f are you doing? Man, what the f are you doing? It was me. You know, I'm the quiet one, but nobody ever expects the quiet one to do the pranks. So, yeah, I decided to have a tutorial class. Um, pretty much. I invited people that were interested in becoming barbers. So we had a good amount of people that showed up to the class. It was great. You know, I got I got to go over three different hairstyles. People were asking questions. I was giving tips, giving advice, not just on the haircuts, but also on marketing and a little bit of how to run your business. He's always been like a a great barber. Um, you could be sitting in the chair next to him and you could just, you can tell like the detail in his work. The coolest thing about teaching people how to cut was just seeing the looks on their faces. 
and then them asking me questions, like showing me interest, like on exactly what I was doing, which allowed me to see that, you know, my work is pretty good. It was definitely cool seeing women having interest in becoming barbers because typically, you know, barbers will usually be men. So now seeing women having an interest in cutting men's hair, making sure to keep men up to groom, is pretty cool to see. He stays with the trend all the time, so um, definitely if you want to be, you know, up to par on what's the fashion, um, He's really good with his fashion, so um, very eye-catching, very, his work is very detailed, and it's great work, I mean, you know. We can, we can trim the length down on that, but now that we have everything right here at the length that we want to have it at, we're going to focus on the face. Tide laundry detergent, downy fabric softener, bounce dryer sheets, and a pie pan. Looks like someone used my nice clean towels again for his mud pies. Was it me? Who's this? That guy? I've never seen that guy in my life. Only Walmart has low prices every day on everything to keep your wash fresh and clean. Back by our AdMatch guarantee. Save money. Live better. Walmart. believe that just happened <laughs> this was gonna be our thing what are you we doing made a pact. you watched ahead no <sighs> okay i watched it on my way to work caught some episodes at my desk and i started season two while you were sleeping season two netflix tv shows and movies at your command for eight bucks a month but please watch responsibly are you crying <laughs> That's what makes the gumbo. Bite, bite, sip, sip to the deep, deep dish gumbo mambo. For lunch, pizza, pizza. Tide laundry detergent, downy fabric softener, bounce dryer sheets, and a pie pan. Looks like someone used my nice clean towels again for his mud pies. Was it me? Who's this? That guy? I've never seen that guy in my life. Only Walmart has low prices every day on everything to keep your wash fresh and clean. Backed by our AdMatch guarantee. Save money. Live better. Walmart. So here we are pulling up to the party. First year anniversary. Launching of a new clothing line. Man, I'm so proud of Alex. I'm with my boy Castro. We're over here celebrating our anniversary party and everything's going down. A, a beautiful day, a, a day that I will never forget. After officially solidifying our partnership, I'm happy to welcome Alex and his crew into my home. I'm looking forward to launching Fade to Fame. It's a brand that's going to be as big as Alex himself. We got cases ready, ready to pop bottles. We're ready, man. We're ready to get this party started. So we get to the lounge party and it's fun, you know, everybody's just drinking, having a good time, our friends DJing and, you know, everybody's pretty cool and Alex is a little more relaxed, he's had a few drinks so he's not as like stressed out. We here and it's gonna go down. The love we were getting from everybody was amazing, you know, definitely a good feeling. I mean, it, I just kept it going, so, you know, the team had to keep doing it with me, we turned up together. believe that just happened. <laughs> this was going to be our thing. What are you we doing? Made a pact. You watched ahead. No. <sighs> okay, I watched it on my way to work, caught some episodes at my desk, and I started season two while you were sleeping. Season two? Netflix, TV shows and movies at your command for eight bucks a month, but please, watch responsibly. Are you crying? <laughs> Tide laundry detergent. Downy fabric softener. 
bounce dryer sheets, and a pie pan. Looks like someone used my nice clean towels again for his mud pies. Was it me? Who's this? That guy. I've seen that guy in my life. Only Walmart has low prices every day on everything to keep your wash fresh and clean. Back by our AdMatch guarantee. Save money. Live better. Walmart. When your cable's on the fritz, you get tense. When you get tense, you can't sleep. When you can't sleep, you need to sleep. When you need to sleep, you get stranded. When you get stranded, you have to survive. When you have to survive, you eat wild berries. And when you eat wild berries, you chase imaginary butterflies into something highly illegal. Don't chase imaginary butterflies into something highly illegal. Get rid of cable and upgrade to Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Hey, Mom. Yeah? We've got Allstate, right? Uh huh. Yes. Well, I found this new thing called Allstate Quick Photo Claim. It's an app. You understand that? Just take photos of the damage with your phone and upload them to Allstate. Really? So you get a quicker estimate, quicker payment, quicker back to normal. I just did it. But maybe you can find an app that will help you explain this to your father. Introducing Quick Photo Claim. Just another way Allstate is changing car insurance for good. I'm very thankful for Kyle letting us use his house to launch Fade to Fame and also a celebration for our one-year anniversary with Fresh Cuts. Man, I'm so proud of Alex, man. He's come a long way. I've been with him a long time, and I didn't think he was going to make it this far. I remember him running out the back door, hopping fences, running from cops. Now look at him. He's getting police escorts to functions. I was chilling, you know, having a good time, talking to my boys. Every now and then, we'd have, you know, a girl come by and ask for a picture, which was cool. But after a while, this this specific girl kept coming back and back and back. So I was kind of wondering, like, does she have a thing for me or, like, what's going on? I mean, my girl's over here too, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't look like the bad guy here. Some chick was all up on his nuts the whole time, trying to take pictures with him, you know, being all over him. And, then, and we're all just like, cool, you know what I mean? He's a good looking dude. I start noticing that one girl now is just on him, like, the whole night, just being really, really annoying. So just. You know, just watching her. So here I am on the dance floor, getting my boogie on, and I see a commotion over there. I look over, I see Louie, I see Alex. Hey, what are you doing? What, no, what hey, wow, there's other that? girls at this party. It's okay. So what? Get your own girl, man. It's crazy because it ended up leading to her her boyfriend thinking that I was trying to hit on her, approaches me and shoves me. This big, tall, buff white dude comes in and starts pushing him. I see a guy push Alex, and I see Louie grab Alex, stop him from swinging at this guy. It was all bad, man. Her man came up to me, approached me, talking about like if I'm trying to hit on her, and shoves me. So Castro starts flipping out. They're about to get into a fight. Castro starts taking off his shirt. So I just grab him as soon as he's about to punch him. Hey, 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 hey. We, can't, we can't throw away this beautiful night over this bullshit. For real, a fight? We're at the party. This this dude was about to hit him. If he would have hit him, I would have hit him right back to it, and it would have been all bad. Just because this guy was over here getting drunk, he's going to put my life in jeopardy, everything that I've worked so hard for. That's the reason why I was so upset. I was so upset because I've been on probation for three years, you know, and I have a lot to lose. I could have lost everything, everything that I've worked so hard for, like, could have been gone. So I'm just hanging out with my girls, having a few drinks, just, you know, girl talk. And then I hear, like, a bunch of, like, people yelling and screaming. I turn back, and guess what? It's Alex. Oh, what happened? That pushed up me, like, like, if I was talking to this girl, she's over here pushing, she's been pushing me the whole entire night. And then she comes over here talking to me, and he's like, like, why are you talking to my girl? He's killing my, my vibe. I'm over here doing my thing, and he's ruining it for me. I'm just chilling, and he's shoving. Like, I'm going to have a good time, but if somebody's going to press him, like, I'm going to go ahead and get right back to him. I see that he's really upset, and I see why he's upset. It's not really his fault. Like, he was just having fun with his boys. Get him the fuck out of here. He needs, he needs to get up out of here, because if not, then it's going to get real serious. Well, if you have someone, let him out. Just don't ruin your night. I mean, that's kind of so luckily I had my girlfriend Bonnie there, you know, to calm me down. 
she's my backbone, you know, sometimes when she speaks to me, I, it allows me to see a different image. It's his night, he wants to have fun and, you know, make the best out of it. Back to the turn up, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> What a day has been today. From the tutorial, to going on the party bus, to the launch party, from the launch party to the after party. Uh, that's where everybody's already, you know, been drinking, been, you know, having a good time. Now it's the real thing, like where we're just gonna end the night. So, you know, we had DJ Sucio spinning at Vanguard, which is where we were at, you know, for the after parties. From dancing, to taking shots, to, hugging and talking and you know just going over memories and how good of a day it was it, it just summed up a, a beautiful day a day that i will never forget sucks so bad I never see him and he's always so busy. Need a cut? Yeah, what time? There's never that quality time that we need to spend to have a good relationship. Diplo, you need a cut. Look, this sucks. I, I got a dinner reservation with my girl already, so. I'm like, damn, put me in a tight situation, but yeah, I, gotta, I gotta take care of my, my good customer. My name's Cynthia Schmidt. I play football in the Legends Football League. It's a full contact women's arena league, um, formerly known as Laundry Football. I wouldn't say that I flirt with Alex. I would say that he flirts with me. <laughs> Man, we were sitting there chilling, eating off the Le Mignon, and some barber dude tried to diss Alice. Production's.